Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to your monthly reading. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> We're all bloody motivated today, right? Scorpio! Hello, Scorps. You're up. Okay, let's do this. We're going to start with spellcasters. All right, attention to detail, the fine print here for someone. All right, and uh, information. Information. This is getting to the nitty gritty of things as well. All right, guys. Uh, so this could be a deal and two off the three off the top. Three off the top. All right, try to feel things out if you can, guys. All right, might help. All right, we've got the chariot here. This is the card of cancer. May or may not apply. All right, uh, otherwise we're talking about chariot energy. Okay, so chariot energy, being in control, all right, having the reins, being in balance. This is also uh, trips, travels, visits, journeys, okay, uh, either symbolic or literal. Um, okay, oh, my goodness. Okay, I just heard far-reaching consequences, <laughs> all right? which I'm unsure what the hell that's about, but uh, I'm saying it. Okay, so far-reaching consequences, right? It might not be so bad. It might not be as bad as what we think, okay? Um, so, okay, so we're blowing it out of the water with this one. <laughs> right, we're blowing it out of the water. Oh, Lord. Um, I'm really feeling like for this information which is coming through, I might as well be honest, okay? This may be a personal message for somebody's life, okay? But I'm actually picking up on world energy okay so actually picking up on uh world energy at the moment it could be a, a a world vibration it could be an event um i feel like there's something to do with something there okay but otherwise this can be a personal message uh but that was that feels pretty a worldwide event is actually coming through <laughs> all right but what the time on that uh who knows all right but it's coming through in this video for some reason all right okay but this is about uh, taking the reins, okay, being in check, being in balance and seeing where the hell we're steering for the future, guys. And this is a big deal. This is a major arcana card, all right? <laughs> so we're talking like this is destiny. This is always supposed to be, all right? So we need to get on top of that game <laughs> with this one. But I'm feeling like someone's taking the reins here and is in control. We've got two of wands in reverse. Okay, yes, back to personal message. This is feeling more personal for somebody here. Okay, so we're talking about making a decision, right? About action. We may have two choices, right? Um, oh, my goodness. <sighs> I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, I, I, I'll just say it. A two weapon systems, two weapon structures as well, okay? Ah, this could be a choice or an option. We could be taking the time out, right? This could be symbolic as well, okay? So keep an open mind, guys, and don't be fearing the worst, and don't be fearing the enemy, they're saying, either, or what's considered the enemy, all right? Um, this is about illusion, okay? Uh, what is real, what is fake, and our perspectives and how we are viewing things. We need to dive in, guys. We need to look deeper at these things. Scorpio, this is your energy, mate. If anyone can dive into this stuff, it's Scorpio, okay? It's Scorpio. Scorpio have the ability to dive deep on this, okay? So let's look with different perspectives, right? And also, it's coming through as let's feel with the heart as well. You guys are, are deep. You are a water sign, Okay, um, and I feel like it's it's almost someone's gift here to dive deep within the heart uh, system and structure here. I don't know why that information is coming through, but somebody needs to be told this. Okay, and your heart is your guide, and it's um, using your heart as a um, okay. They just said anchor, using your heart as an anchor and um, feeling out feeling out different options and choices and where your heart is pulling you. Okay, now that's really strong. Now, for somebody like me. And using that energy, okay, um, you can legit feel it. Like it, it's almost on the physical when I use that certain. It is, I guess it's an ability or a way to be able to perceive and read energy, okay. But when using this energy, you can actually feel, feel it pull from your heart, okay. So you might have this ability too. You might be able to, okay, they said conquer this, all right. You might be able to conquer this, right. Um, but um, this is about feeling things out with your heart. Okay, and making the appropriate choices uh, through heart-based systems, heart-based structures. Okay, anyway, that's direct message from spirit to somebody here. We seem to have options here about action and where we're heading. Somebody may have taken a time out. Otherwise, we need to take a time out and see where we're going. Communication could be involved. There could be an incoming communication. Oh my goodness! <laughs> there could be an incoming communication. All right, I just heard bombs away. All right. 
Oh my god. Alright, this could be a separate message or a carrier. We've got seven of wands in the reverse. Okay, so this is an underdog card and it looks like we may not win. Okay, that could be a deal. We may be feeling this way, but whether that actually happens or not is anybody's guess. All right. Um, I feel personally that everybody's a bloody winner. All right. Even if you're an underdog, this comes down to personal perspective, right? Personal perspective. But somebody here feels like, you know, they've, they've put up put up a fight and it's not worth it. It's either, you know, walking away from things or, um, you know, it hasn't paid off with in the past. All right, um, giving up a fight in some respect or some regard here. Someone else might be giving up a fight, right? You could be viewing this. Uh, we seem to have a magician here, though, which he seems to be in their power, seems to be getting it all together now. <laughs> all right, this could have been in the past. This could be frozen as well. All right, so keep an open mind, Scott. Um, we've got someone here that's getting it all together. So this could be anything from time, money, resources, people, ethics, they're saying. Ethics, ethics, all right? Bringing it all together to make magic happen, right? Um... This is a deal. Okay, someone seems to be within their power. We've got the Seven of Cups here, uh, which talks about fantasy and illusion. Okay, uh, making things happen. Okay, and choices, emotional choices. What's going to satisfy us on an emotional level? Okay, um, so this is having a good look at what our options are. Slow and steady wins the race here for somebody, all right? You might be within a state of power here. Um, a magical sense of achievement too here for someone, which is quite interesting, right? Uh, it could be a, a deal, eh? It could be a deal. Uh, but this is about taking the time out and making appropriate choices, right? Choosing what's going to emotionally fulfill us. If we can see here, we've got um, options here. We've got options and they all represent something. I'll give you an example. We've got Venus over here, which represents, you know, love, luxury, money, sexuality, things like that. We've got bloody Jupiter here, which represents travel, luck, expansion, <laughs> right? Um, what else have we got? We've got Mars here, which represents, you know, um, sex, action, war, motivation. Um, it's fire-based energy. You know what I mean? We've got uh, Mercury here, which is like communication, right? Communication um, and electronics and stuff like that. So it really comes down to what it is that you want, okay? How do you want to tackle this? How do you want to change things? We've got Saturn, you know, it's more discipline-based, Um you know, it's, um, you know, taskmaster, bloody, um, you know, processes and playing by the rules, playing by the system. Um, so we need to look at these things. Um, and there's also heavy moon symbology too, which is, um, oh, okay, uh, intuitive, emotional, right? Knowing that everything has a season, the waxing and the waning of the moon I'm really picking up on. Now, I was wondering to myself, why the hell... I was going through all these symbols, right? Because I've never done that before. And uh, I thought, I thought it was worth it, right? I was getting pulled in that direction to explain these things to people. And uh, then I just saw someone gather all the cups, right? I saw hands come around all these cups and just gather them up and they're holding all the freaking cups, mate. That could be a potential. That could be a possibility. We could cover all areas, all bases, okay? This is thinking outside the box, guys. Like, really, uh, I'm really encouraging you guys to take an expans expansive approach here, uh, using all elements, using all everything that you can, okay, to figure this out and to make it work, okay? To make it work. Um, I feel like somebody can do this. Somebody can do this. Um, but take your time. See what goes on right? See what you can take from a situation or take away from a situation and see what it is that you can give to a situation also, all right? That is so bloody powerful, Scorps. I don't know, what the hell? All right, uh, we're going to do an Ascended master. see what goes on. <laughs> we're going to do it on that chariot and two of wands, all right? All right, so with this energy here, the chariot and the upright and the two of wands in reverse, we've got teacher, Okay, so this is a learning experience. This is a learning process. You may be able to help within a situation. This is, uh, okay, I did just hear the teachers being taught as well. And that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. That's another perspective, right? That the teacher doesn't bloody know everything. That the fact that the students teach the, the, the teacher, right? This is like, you know, this is taking a different approach. Being open to learning, understanding, knowledge and growing, okay? Uh, being open. We may have to find other teachers, branch out, learn something new, learn something different. This is a, a constant learning and growing process, guys. Okay, so just remember that. Um, 
a profession or a professional as well, especially anything to do with travel trips, transportation or getting it together all right to be able to steer, um, to be able to steer in this process. Um, mother is coming through and I don't know why. Okay, mother's coming through for somebody. Mother could be your teacher or something along those lines. All right. Okay, with the magician, with the seven of wands in reverse and the seven of cups here, we've got spiritual law of attraction in reverse, but I don't actually feel like this is a bad thing. Um, okay, all right, yeah, okay. So I'm getting flashbacks to Atlantis, okay, here for somebody, which could be to do with this the world energy that we picked up on, all right? So, sorry, I got really, like, pissed then. I'm like, Jesus, like... <laughs> It's like, don't do it again, mate. Don't do it again. Like, <laughs> oh, what a disaster area. If you want to look into Atlantis, okay, there's heaps of awesome books, okay, that's on this up. Like, I've got 50 million books, all right, on Atlantis. So if you want to know any, any bloody knowledge on Atlantis, please look into that. Um, there's a lot of books from the 1800s, okay, when they had the time before both world wars, okay, to look into this. And this is like, this is scientific. This is not fantasy, okay? This is scientists actually going out into the field comparing uh, language trees and, um, you know, uh, cataclysmic bloody rock samples in the mountains and stuff, okay? Um, legend and uh, comparing these things worldwide. So if you are interested in Atlantis, <laughs> alright, check that out, alright, because this is feeling very similar. All right, so we've learned from the past with this. This is the deal. We've learned from the past, okay? But get, coming back to personal messages, magician, seven of wands, and a seven of cups, all right? We've got our spiritual law of attraction in reverse, which I'm feeling that it feels like a delay, okay? It feels like we may have not been able to manifest what it is that we want, okay? And someone was stalling, stall, 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 and then it's like, I don't know what to do, and they're literally, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. It's like missed opportunity, right? Or, uh, you know, something's happened, or you haven't felt confident, or you've made, you know, you may have made the wrong decision in the past, uh, even though that was a learning process, but you really may have felt this way, okay? So for somebody here, it's coming around again. You seem to be within your power, okay? You seem to have learnt a lot, okay, with this. Uh, I feel like this is very much a past energy. This is a past energy, okay? Um, so I'm feeling like you've figured out what to give up, okay, what, what's not worth fighting for. And um, yes, we are taking a way different approach now, guys. This is awesome. All right, we're going to try and get another quick little story. Um, we're going to do Little Man for some reason. All right. Try not to worry about the future, right? We seem to have enough knowledge and understanding, okay, to, you know, figure this out. Like, whether it be personal or whether it's bloody global, mate. Um, just everything in general, you know what I mean? And this is about realising, too, that um, there's a waking up process which is occurring. And I feel like it's occurring personally here for somebody. And I also feel like it's, you know, it's occurring on a global level, mate. You know, this is like, you know, wipe the sleep from your eyes, mate. And um, this is like, wow, <laughs> we're seeing things now. Mm. Very fascinating. I'm getting um, for somebody here to take a time out and meditate. Okay, I'm getting really into that uh, quiet space, that soft and smooth energy that might be able to support you on your journey. And um, now that I'm actually feeling this energy, um, I, I, I feel, I could feel the unbalancedness. I could feel the unbalancedness of, like, everything that came through in the reading up to this point, okay? Um, so retract if you can, okay? This is a retraction process and going within, um, promoting this soft and smooth, it's stable base energy, okay? However that speaks to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have something in concrete here that is concrete, um, but... The anchor normally talks about a burden, a weighing down, or something which is solid, okay? We seem to have a feminine energy who is in the reverse here. She may not be on top of her game. She could be going through um, challenges, struggles, obstacles. This could be you or this could be someone else. You may be viewing this in somebody's life. We also had a, have a masculine energy who is not in their power either, <laughs> right? Um, so they both don't seem to be within their power, okay? This could have been a massive 
communication breakdown. Okay, that's what's coming through uh, some in some way. Saying time will tell of a great mistake. All right. Now, I've got to explain this, that um, I believe that there's really no such thing as a mistake. All right. I still, okay, I'm... I've explained this before, but sometimes I feel like, yeah, I've genuinely made a, mix, a mistake, okay? But that's only because of past conditioning and programming, right, from childhood, right, and getting in trouble for things. But when, you know, when I really feel into it, I feel like there's never a mistake. I always feel like, you know, it's a learning and growing process. We always learn something, right? Um, but when they say that, like God say, um, time will tell of a great mistake, um, the word mistake they explain to me is mistake, right? Mis hyphen take so it's like you know um movie action like another take right and um it's a chance to do it again it's a chance to do it again right and it's like it was always supposed to be and it was for a learning and growing process that's what a mistake <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> from guides all right that's what that's what the deal is all right um so i'll just let you know and uh this is about seeing things differently you may be noticing this all right somebody's seeing clearly within the situation illusion and disillusion are now dropping okay um with the moon here this is a nighttime vibe okay um and this is a learning and growing process i feel like a nighttime if this is about nighttime symbolically it is passing now okay we're starting to see clearer this seems to be key to the situation right we may be wondering when the end is in sight okay now that's anybody's guess anybody's guess um i'm feeling a fumbling of keys here symbolically or literal right and it could be too dark to bloody see Okay, but the key's there, right? If you drop the key and it's on the bloody ground, <laughs> we're just going to have to wait until the day time comes, all right? So we can see clearer. But it's going to happen, all right? And someone within this situation is actually seeing clearly regarding this key that's not in its power. We've got um, travel, transportation, trade, trade agreements, trade contracts within this, um, trading systems as well. Uh, this can mean uh, travels, trips, journeys, literal symbolic cars, transportation coming back to that cancer energy as well this doesn't seem to be within its power i'm getting a sinking ship <laughs> there could be a sinking ship feeling this could be in the past present right um it could be coming up possibly because someone's not thinking all right i'm not thinking things through perhaps or you may feel this way okay or okay this is great someone's not operating from fear anymore well done, whoever the hell that is. Someone is dropping the worries, the concerns of this energy, okay? Things not being generally within their power, okay? Because there's a lot of not in their powers going on, okay? And somebody is actually dropping this in the mind. This is a different thought construct. This is a different reality here for someone. This is uh, making the positive difference and making the positive change. And it is, it is coming back to that scene with new eyes thing, okay? So well done. Well done. Okay. Um, okay. Time will tell of efforts achieved as well. So keep up the good work. We're going to do a um, psychic tarot for the heart on that. See what else is going on. If it's coming back to, you know, any challenges or obstacles, we, we want to try and help people with that. So um, we'll see what other healing may need to be done or what other surrounding energy is around this circumstance here. Okay, I'm feeling a, a power couple here. There could be a power couple here, all right, um, that aren't within their power for some reason right now, okay? Uh, getting back up on track, they're saying, all right? Um, yes, we've got heal. This is about breaking trains. <laughs> breaking trains. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so however the hell that's speaking to you. The breaking chains, right, as well. That train, I'm actually being redirected back to the train. Okay, train, train. However the hell that speaks to you, all right? The word here is train and not chain, all right? But this is about limitations and constructs, right? And breaking that crap. Um, okay, disciplinary measures need to be put in place for somebody here. And that's a healing process, okay? Okay. Um, so know what's right for you and your highest good, okay, and take the appropriate course of action, 
okay, to be able to heal yourself. Um, it, it's kind of coming through as an example, okay, if you just got confused, if you've been reckless within the past, okay, self-discipline may not go astray, okay, you might be able to learn something um, through disciplinary measures and actually having restrictions in your life, okay. Um, this is like um, devil energy, Capricorn energy, and Saturn energy, okay. Otherwise, you know, if you have been chained or limited or restricted, in any way um, this is time you know to break chains and think differently do things differently okay we've got new vitality uh, in the reverse here we may be lacking the motivations uh, to be able to achieve these things okay uh, we may be feeling okay for someone here it's breathless and I'm actually feeling breathless like I'm actually struggling to breathe so someone might be having uh, challenges with this either literally or symbolically okay um, healing past pain, past trauma, uh, feeling it's repressed and not being able to f feel like you can breathe within a situation, okay? So I feel like somebody's healing from this. This is very much breath and air orientated, okay? Um, we've got darkest fears, right? And this is normally a worst nightmare deal, right? Um, so when it comes down to worst nightmares, worst nightmares normally within the head, Okay, it's fear, it's vulnerability, it's worry, and uh, basically, if we're coming from a Buddhist approach, it, the only unpleasantness which is there is, is normally within the mind, okay? Even if there's something unpleasant in our vicinity, okay, like an argument, <laughs> right? What That's an example, right? It's how we perceive the bloody argument, right? And it's like, um, it's very, very interesting, okay? Um... So if we're in a state of presentness and stuff like that, um, those fears and worries and vulnerabilities and fears actually dissipate. There's actually no need to worry about anything. But for somebody here, this is a genuine concern, okay? And it is uh, a problem. We need to ground ourselves. We need to have a look at reality. And uh, we need to get real for somebody here. Somebody needs to get real uh, in a sense, okay? And it's like um, they're stuck in the head, okay? And this is about anchoring and grounding the energy, okay? And um, it's always coming through as a distraction, but it's not a distraction. It's more like a refocusing into the future and positive difference, positive change, and the positive, like it's just positive, positive, positive within your life, okay? And I'm feeling like uh, somebody needs to drop that worry okay, from the past here, because uh, it's not doing you any favours, mate. This is also talking about um, clear conscience as well, okay, and things going, it, it's basically going around and around and around in the head, um, okay, it's, it's dazed and confused here, but they're the words that came through. The word trance is coming through, and I do normally get that with this card, okay, but it is, it, that word is, is coming through. Different phases, stages and cycles here and knowing that that is the case i'm getting someone here really addicted to patterns or patternings here things that repeat it's always like a predictive method here um it's like oh that's really it's always coming through as mathematics or a mathematical construct here um as in a predictive method um that's quite fascinating um so yes look into that look into that um, you may be pleasantly surprised in some way, um, but I'm also being drawn back to the breaking of limitations and breaking chains here as well, okay, so there could be two sides to this as well, uh, two things to learn, um, ana analytical and free-flowing, they're saying, okay, so look into that, yeah, all right, um, okay, we're going to do one angel card, and then we're going to call it a day, guys, oh my god, so many okay we've got to fly through this as quick as possible vision <laughs> all right this is about personal vision guys and where we're heading okay so focus on the future focus on what it is you want for the future okay whether it be in your personal life or for humanity in general um this is about your own focus okay so let's get it sorted let's get on top of our game and know where it is we're coming from take the time out that you need okay someone's really going through it oh my goodness oh this is great okay all right all right right I'm going to run through this. We've got commitment in the reverse. Obviously, it's not within its power. This could be a past effect, all right? Um, you've got to know where it is, where it's sitting for you. We've got, um, you found it in the reverse. Someone's given up a commitment here, okay, because they can't find what it is they're looking for, okay? It, this could have um, destroyed our faith, right? <laughs> this could have destroyed our faith or could have impacted our faith in some way. Um, the word faith is very important. It could, it's coming through as a name as well. And that did come through um, another reading that we did last round, okay, last month. Um, 
But yes, it's almost like a name, faith. But the word faith, um, we got higher education in the reverse. Okay, this can be literal education or just higher education within life. Okay, this could have impacted like massively, right? I feel like someone just gave up, mate. Someone just gave up in the past. But guess what? Heaven's watching over you, mate, <laughs> all right? So we've got good things coming in this time, it feels all right for somebody here. Um, I'm seeing a star and I'm seeing a shooting star. This can be like a make-a-wish, um, a make-a-wish kind of vibe here. Um, project, they're saying project. Um, and we've got love. All right, and this is beautiful. Uh, this could be possibly romantic love coming in for somebody. Otherwise, we're talking about you're going to be feeling the bloody love, okay, from the universe just in general. This could be people around you. This could be opportunities coming in, all right? This is about nurturing and growing this beauty, and I'm seeing your heart burst, okay, and someone just being surrounded in the love energies, all right? And uh, this is a knowing. This is a knowing that you are protected and you are loved, okay? Um you know, regardless of what other people say or whether they actually, you know, say it or show it to you, you're going to be feeling this. Someone's going to be feeling this. Okay. And it's beautiful. All right. So let's get our head under control if we are worried or concerned. All right. Uh, let's get into the personal healing and uh, do what we can to help us on any level. All right. That's, um, you know, have a look into these things, guys, and uh, look beyond boundaries, borders, uh, take a different perspective or different approach. Scorps, let's dive on into it. All right. Now, I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to let you guys know, okay, if you guys live in Perth, um, I'm doing a, I'm doing the Psychic Awareness Fair in Cannington this weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I will be there giving readings, if you'd like to come on down and get a reading, please feel free, all right, I'm going to put a link for the um, website in the description box below, so please feel free to buy a ticket, or come on down, check it out, uh, there's going to be other readers there also, so um by all means, guys, come on down, check it out. Um, and yeah, I, I hope to see you guys there. Please take it easy. I'm sending all my love to you. And uh, feel free to check out any other readings, regardless of whether it's on this channel or not. Okay, guys, I love you guys heaps. See you, Scorps.